Welcome back, day 98. Uh, it's arm day, best day. So uh, last week we had a killer arm day. We started out kind of randomly with preacher curls. This uh, preacher machine is awesome, awesome sauce. So we're gonna stick with this, do like a five by eight to 10, you know, pretty heavy. We got a 45 and a 25 on. We did the same weight last week. I'm gonna probably add like 10 pounds. Just kind of getting good warmed up on the first set. Um, still gonna go to failure, but then after this we'll do some hammer curls of some sorts. And then some more, probably some standard dumbbell curls, and then we'll do some triceps, man. Anything else? I got new shorts today. Show them, show them. You like those? I'll make them wait. All right, let's go. I got my AirPod. <laughs> it's stupid. Look at that dump truck. I'm trying to get my AirPod, man. All right, let's go. Intensity. Stretch. Hold the stretch. Okay. Ooh, that was sick. Round two. Keep this thing going, man. Minimal rest. Dude, this bicep vein's here to stay. Whew. I need to trim the waterfall. It's time. It's time. I'm starting to look like a bowl cut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I need. Yeah, it looked like I got a bowl cut. Let's go. Should I just rock the bowl cut? No, let's go get a haircut. Go get a haircut today? I might. Get my ears lowered a little bit. Oh, you want plastic surgery? Huh? No, you guys will say that when you get a haircut. I got my ears lowered today. Oh yeah, well, I mean, not probably as much as you guys. Like that seems like a southern mama thing. That's a yeah. That's that's some hillbilly shit. All right, let's go. Taylor Swift dropped a new album, dude. Swifty Nation, where are you at? It's pretty good. I'm not. I listened to it last night. It's pretty good. <laughs> Don't want to hear it, bro. T Pain, Toby Keith, Nickelback. You're over there swizzing it up. Swizz, Swift, Swift, Swifty Nation. All right, let's do three more sets like that. Okay. Woo. That's two more sets. That stretch, man. That good stretch. I'm listening to Taylor Swift right now. Ah. 
Okay. One more set. Those are nice. Those are nice, dude. You got it? All right, last set. We're going to do a drop set. So we got the 45 and the 25. Go to failure. He's going to strip out the 25. Just keep going. And then hammer curls. Okay, let's go. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Ow, ow. It's okay. Whew, that sucked. But that was sweet. All right, let's do something else. All right, Bayesian hammer curls. I know we do these twice a week, but they're so good. They're so good. We'll find we'll find other variations. Like I mean, you could always do the dumbbell. You do like between the leg, pulling the rope up. I mean, there's lots of variations to hit this and in your forearms. Um, but these are so good, dude. I'm just gonna keep doing these um, until I stop getting sore or until I get a little little bored of them, you know. All right, one more set. They are pumped, though. Drop set Friday. Let's go. twice a week for a long time yeah it's fine those are so good I, I have an insane pump right here right here look at that bicep vein Woo -hoo -hoo. getting vascular all right let's do some dumbbell curls now wars of the day Cody is let me let me let me work let me work while I think about it We're done now. It's all you. Oh, sorry. Words of the day, dude. Huh? Words of the day. The day? Words of the day. Oh, words of the day. Oh, God. Nobody's got the mic. Look at the camera. I'm going give to. It, I'm thinking. To I'm thinking. You know, just choose your, choose your heart, man. You know? Yeah. Just lift big and smile bigger. You know? Just, I like to put Justin on the spot here sometimes when I'm doing my YouTube channel trying to get big, you know, lifting <laughs> for you guys. But just... He's so big all the time. Choose your heart. <laughs> there you go, dude. Choose your heart. All right, thank you, Cody. Everyone You're say awesome, thank man. you. Anytime. Boom, look at that. Look at that. Fully stretched. See how he turns his body into the curl? Get that extra peak. Turn on that pinky outwards. It's good form. Maybe could control the eccentric a little bit, but I like what I see. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love. I loved every second of that. Words of the day, uh, dude. Just say arm day is the best day. It's good, man. Bicep pump is dude, nothing, nuts. Nothing beats chest day. Dude, actually, guys and gals, my chest is sore yesterday. I'm telling you, I made something. Something clicked yesterday. That was the first time my chest has been sore after just doing bench. I don't know, long time. Long time. I mean, it's usually sore after chest day because all those flies and stuff, like that even hurts opening up. Like, I don't know, 315's coming up. Uh, 
Now we're gonna do some easy bar overhead extensions. Right. Or this cambered bar. Stretch it. Yeah, typically we do like the actual easy bar, like the half, like the half bench but all those are taken up, so we're just gonna do this. First set felt great, kind of awkward set up, but same effect, you know? Same exact stimulus. you're fully stretched right we're focused on the long head right now stretch push <sighs> it's okay Woo. yeah i actually like this <laughs> let's do one more set with a drop set Now I'm done. <laughs> now I'm done. <laughs> All right. Since the other day we did back and triceps, we did the you know the the typical push downs I've been doing. So today to just mix it up, we're gonna do the Dorian Yates style. Keep the Dorian Yates style going for a while. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So you gotta start right here, but keep your elbows locked in. Stretch up like this. Push down. Dude, <laughs> they're like cramping. I have like an insane pump. <laughs> Arm day, best day. I'm focusing about squeezing my long head as hard as I can right here. Squeezing it, stretching up, keeping my elbows locked in. Just boom. Let's do one more with a drop set. Woo. Dude, they're on fire, bro. I know. Okay. 
Yeah, it's, it's been a good tricep day and bicep day. Let's do uh, some extensions now. All right, we're gonna do some single arm extensions. So I'm leaning back. Here, let me start with this arm first so you guys can see. Right here. Stretching all the way up here. Keep my elbow locked in, but I'm pushing the cable as far back as I can, or pulling the cable. Is it a pull or a push? I don't know. You know what I'm saying. Wait, let me turn around so you guys can see. There you go. Okay. So, I can do more with my right arm. I'm starting my left arm intentionally, right? Because I know I'm not gonna do as many with it. So, I'm trying to match them, right? I don't wanna spam. I don't wanna do 10 on this arm and do 14 on this arm. I'm gonna try to do the same reps to kind of even out some imbalances, right? I mean, obviously my right side, I'm right-handed and stuff, it's always gonna be a tad bit stronger, but try to get them as equal as possible. Let's do a drop set. These are feeling nice, feeling nice. The only downside is it's kind of hard to hold onto this little stopper. I gotta buy some attachments. Out right. first. I have no idea what you said. Out first. Oh, I'm looking thinner? The belt, yeah, I gotta buy a belt. I heard it, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I promise the drop set, I'll do a drop set. Arm day's done. All right, it's done, dude. Today was one of those days where we were just getting after it. Not a lot of joking, but I'm gonna take my shirt off today. Give y'all a show. Look at these. I'm gonna look naked because they like almost match my skin tone. <laughs> Let's see. Side dress it. Dude, that's a hard one. Looking lean, dude. There you go. Got like 15 more pounds to go. This, this right here. Just all of this. Just shouldn't joke like that, but. All right, what, what else? Uh, there you go. That's the money shot. Show them, show them traps. Bah, bah, Z's. Oh, I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> yeah. The bicep veins here to stay. Dude, your shoulders, man. They've got, I'm starting to see some striations, too. Like back into your traps and everything, especially with how the light's hitting it. I don't know what I'm doing. A lot One day. From 100 days ago. It is almost 100 days. Eventually, I'll do like a, maybe like a year from now. I don't know. We'll, we'll fill it out after like a couple cuts and bulks, but do some like posing coach. Maybe find like a coach nearby and see if it'll be like cool enough to get on the channel. And like we'll do like a couple of episodes where it's just me posing. But that'd be fun. Get, get some practice, man. Get on stage one day. But see you guys in the truck.
it Yo, definitely tastes better. What up? We we at Chipotle. Got What's some up? got some snacks. This is our first lunch date. But uh I got the hoodie on, the wind is picked up. It's a little chilly, but it's so hard not to get queso. So what I got is uh, white rice. I, if I had to guess, just eyeballing it, probably like 200 to 220 grams, 250. I don't know, let's just call it, let's just be conservative and call it 250 grams of protein, or 250 grams of rice. And then we got double chicken, looked to be about eight, 10 ounces, and then some I salsa, had, I had a some pico. You, he got guac, he's getting crazy. A lot is bad. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all. We uh, getting some sneaky snacks, refueling man with some uh, some white rice and uh, some chicken. But I'll see you guys in the truck. Whoo! I'm stuffed, dude. Okay, that was closer to about 300 grams of carbs. <laughs> or I keep saying that 300 grams of rice. That was a lot. But it was good, man. It was good. Uh, I had some black beans. I almost didn't get it. But just because it's got a little fat, not a lot, but that was a protein pack meal. That was every bit. I want to say it's kind of eyeballing it. It, it. By the way, that would have been so hard for me to weigh out, right? Unless I asked the, the employees to like weigh each scoop out. So I'm not going to do. So I didn't even bother with it. Plus, I don't have my scale. So I've just got to eyeball it, right? I've been weighing and measuring my food for, for about four months now. And. <clears throat> I feel like I got a pretty good eyeball for it. Granted, I'm not 100%, right? That's why I still wear my food every day. But I would say each scoop... Dude, the traffic. Um, each scoop was probably about three ounces of chicken. Three, I'm a, okay, three to four ounces. I'll be conservative and say about six ounces of chicken. Cody thought it was more. Which it might have been more, but say about six ounces of chicken. So that's gonna put me around like, I'm just guessing. I'd have to go look, but that's gonna put me around like 40 to 40 to 55 grams of protein. <clears throat> and then the rice, it was about 300 grams of white rice, which is a lot of carbs, which is gonna, <laughs> which is probably gonna put me at like, shit, dude, like. 110 120 grams of carbs so that's a lot of carbs but that's good that's so one thing i don't talk about a lot with y'all is like the timing of my like my nutrition right i don't really worry about it so much when it comes to protein or fat um but my carbs or i don't really worry too much about any kind of timing like we talked about creatine just as long as you get five grams of creatine a day you're good and Oh, sorry, I'm bouncing around on you. Sorry, ADHD brain. So there's two things that now I think about that I that I focus on timing, right? That is my carbs and my electrolytes. So um, when, I, when I first wake up, <clears throat> I want to make sure that I'm really good and hydrated. So I have electrolytes. So I have this electrolyte powder. I'll mix it. I'll do two scoops, 32 ounces of water. And I'll sip on that for like 15, 20 minutes when I wake up. Also, when I wake up, while I'm sipping on that, I'll make um, like oatmeal or something. Or I mean, once in a while, I have a bowl of cereal, right? I try to get my carbs. And the reason why I get so many carbs in the morning is because I go to the gym about an hour and a half after I wake up. So as soon as I wake up, I'll drink the electrolyte. Within 30 minutes, I'm eating food, right? And I'll let it digest. So I try to get my food in my, in my body about an hour before I go to the gym. So I have a lot of glycogen, right? Running through my body and stuff, giving me a lot more energy, helping me push through more sets and reps. <clears throat> so that's one That's one thing I do, right, with carbs and electrolytes. But immediately after, I'll do the same thing. I'll have, you know, anywhere from 75 to, well, today I had like 111, 100, you know, 10 grams of carbs. I'll have, anyway, I'll have a big chunk of my carbs immediately after I work out to replenish my glycogen, right? And then I'll also, <clears throat> to make sure I'm really hydrated because right, a lot of my hydration le hydration levels depleted th through sweat and those intense sets. So I have more electrolytes after. Um, there's, like a, there's like a window for protein. I don't know, man. They, they say like within like four hours of your training session, you should have, you should have your protein in for like the best effects. Just, I just make it a habit, dude, and I don't get lost in it. I make it a habit to have 
around 50 grams as soon as I get home. Like I get home, not today because I just ate, right? It doesn't make sense to keep pouring protein into my gut. So I'm going to wait like an hour and a half. Um, but yeah, anyway, back up. So I, I like to have carbs. and I mean, I have protein too because I have to. I have a protein count I have to hit each day. But anyway, I'll, I'll make sure I have carbs an hour before I go work out, right? And then immediately when I'm done working out. And that's most of my carb intake. Most of that. 75% of my carb intake is is before lunchtime. Or, you know, at lunchtime, right? So, and then I'll have, like, to catch up. So, after this, so, you know, I had, like, 70 grams this morning of carbs. I had about 110 right then. We'll just say, let's just say 180, right? I try to get around 250, so that leaves me 70 left in the day. Right, so two thirds, um, it's just gone like that. But does that make sense? What I'm saying. So, and then the protein, <clears throat> you know, we talked about one gram per pound of lean muscle mass. So, which there's some stuff that says you just need less, but I just do just make it easy, right? So I'll try to get, you know, I'm 20% body fat, leaned out. I'm about, you know, lean muscle mass anywhere from like 190 to 200. So I try to get like at least 190 grams of protein every day. And I don't like to do it all at once. And that's no particular reason. That's nothing proven. It's just I like to spread them out, right? In my mind, it doesn't make sense to have all your protein just, you know, all at once. And then you you poop it out all at once. Like your your muscles are recovering and repairing throughout the day or days, right? So you want to have that constant um, replenishment too of, of amino acids and whatnot. So I don't like to eat more than 50 grams like every two hours. Again, I don't know if that's scientifically proven. It's just what I like to do. So I, I'll have like, you know, for, for breakfast on average, I'll have anywhere from 40 to 60. And then after I work out, I'll have a protein shake typically. It puts me closer to like 100 grams of protein a day. So I still have, I still have 90 more to go, 90, 100 more to go. So then an hour and a half later, two hours later, I'll have usually chicken breast, give me 50 more grams. And then <clears throat> for dinner, I'll have chicken breast or whatever, salmon, whatever. And then I'll, I'll get 50 more, right? So four times a day is usually what I eat. But most of my carbs are an hour, I'm, I'm ingesting an hour before I go to the gym and immediately after. Most of my, like two thirds of my carb intake, so. And that'll go up <clears throat> when, when I bulk. Um, you, you have to eat in a surplus to gain weight, right? So I'm going to up my fat count. My fat count's a little fat's great for testosterone, your mood, all that stuff. Libido, it's great. But eating a deficit, you have to... I'm a big believer in glycogen and carbs, right, for energy. So I have to cut my fat weight down. When I eat in a surplus, I have a little bit more wiggle room, right? I don't have to eat much more protein. I'll probably still eat 200. To have some variety, I'll probably bump up my protein to like 220, you know? Um, but my carb count is going to go way up, dude. My carb count is going to go up to like, I don't know, I'm just throwing a number out. I've not sat down and broke it out yet. My, my carb count is going to go up to like four or 500 grams a day. So like that bowl of oatmeal in the morning is going to go from like 100 grams of oats to like 200 grams of oats. Like, uh, I want to make sure that I have lots of glycogen and I'm recovering and I have a, a, an insane amount of energy in the gym. And, you know, if you only need one gram of protein per pound of lean muscle mass, I'm just going to keep that the same and focus on getting my calories in via fat and carbs. So, but we still got, we still got a couple months before we bulk. But anyway, hopefully my rant right then made, you know, made some sense. But if not, there's no hope for you. Um, but yeah, today's my off Friday. I'm gonna do some yard work. Go do some fun with kids. Go do some fun with the kids. But yeah, man, tomorrow's deadlift. Another sick day. I'm gonna try to do 370 for a five by six. We'll see how that goes. I'll get it though. It's gonna be intense, but I'll get it. Um, but yeah, much love. Um, hope you guys have a good day. Love you. Talk to you. Hey, Dad, food my tea. No, I'm good. All right. <laughs> Bye.